All right, so what's up? Welcome back to another Amazon Online Arbitrage tutorial video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to store front stock just using Keepa only. No other tools are needed. So Keepa is only like close to $20 a month. This is the only tool you need to find profitable products on Amazon. So first step, we're going to start with finding a seed listing. So if you didn't watch the pre uh, previous tutorial that I made about how to do or how to find like profitable products on Amazon. I ended the video uh, looking at this this Quaker Oats gluten-free instant oatmeal. So I'm gonna use this as my first, my seed listing to find other profitable products. All right, so ignore this stuff on the left side because we're not gonna be using that. So when you buy Keepa, this is all the stuff that's, that you're gonna have on your screen. What you wanna do is look at the uh, sellers, which is right here, and then grab all of grab all the sellers from the listing manually or um, sellers that you think that are doing online arbitrage. Like there's there may be some sellers on here that have like a thousand and something feedback. They're most likely like wholesale, so you can just ignore them. But you wanna grab FBA sellers and and FBM sellers and you can just grab how much ever you want. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to grab every single seller because that's going to take forever doing this manually. So I'm just going to grab about like uh, seven sellers. So this guy has 38. I'm going to grab him. He has 14. Grab him. 15. It's three, four, five, six. This guy only has one. He might be new, so I'm not going to grab him. 109, that's pretty good. 9, that's decent. 17. How much do I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I might as well grab 10. Let's grab this guy. All right. So you have your sellers. Next, you want to head over to Keepa.com. Head over to the data section. And then product finder. Next, you want to scroll all the way to the spot where it says uh, buy box seller and then find where it says sellers. And what you want to do is you want to grab the seller ID from all of the um, sellers that you took. And the way you need to do that is click on whenever you open up their profile, if you look into the URL where it says seller equals, you grab this right here starting with the the letter that after the equals and then stop at where it says the and symbol. You wanna go ahead and copy that and then paste it into here, sellers. And then add a comma to separate it. Don't add any spaces out there to the comma. Next, you're gonna grab the next seller. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Also, if you press, if you hold Control and press C, it automatically copies without having to right click. And then next, you can just press Control V and it'll paste it. I'm gonna grab these real quick. Oop, I messed up here. So I accidentally typed in C. You can just refresh the um, the page and it'll fix it. Comma, almost done.
And also, if you look, every time you copy a seller, the products that are filtered is going up. Because it's adding all the um, products that are in these sellers' stores. All right, so I got all 10 sellers in um, Keepa. So you see where it says 2,072 products. These are all products in all of these stores combined. So next is putting in your Keepa filters of products that you want to see. So I'm just gonna start out with the filters that I like to use. So buy box seller, I don't like selling on listings that have Amazon on it. So I put the buy box seller to third party. I take out digital products because I don't sell digital products and I don't like looking at um, listings that have variations so I usually pick no variations. Next, sales rank drops. <clears throat> I spread my, um, my catalog among different products so like things that sell at least once a month is fine so I usually just put like around 30, 30 drops within 30 days. Next, I don't care about review counts. Make sure no Amazon sellers. Amazon offer exists. Click that. Take that out. Take this one out. Take that one out. Amazon is back ordered. Take that out too. And Amazon offer shipping delay. Take that out. Next is price. So I don't have a pretty big budget, so I like to sell things that are kind of like mid-tier priced, like <clears throat> in the middle of like 100 So if you're selling things around like 20 to $30, you're going to be buying products around 5 5 to $7 for it to be profitable. So where it says new or third party, let's put... Let's put 35. And now from 2,000 products, it narrowed it down to 38 from all these filters. So now you wanna just click find products and bam. You have a narrow focus down on 30, 38 products that could be profitable instead of having to look through 2,000 listings. So let's take a look at some of these. First of all, this one has an IP alert, so I'm not going to look at that. So this one is a three pack. Next, you want to get open up Google. Just copy that. You need to put pack of three. And see if you can find anywhere cheaper. So Walmart is selling it for 648. It's going for forty-seven seventy-five. Buy box is forty-seven seventy-five. This guy isn't even an FBA seller. Let's look down at the data. So this thing has sold 4,654 times in the past 30 days. So this thing is flying off the shelf. Buy box statistics are spread out. The FBA seller, the recent FBA seller that got it, no, not the recent FBA seller. FBA sellers are getting it, are selling it around like 49 to 48. So, I mean, if you sold this for 49, What's the lowest? Let's just say that um, I'm selling this for like $48. So it's a three pack if you get it at Walmart. It's 
gonna make sure this is the same thing. Task pop up mission relief. One point, one slash two fluid ounces. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the same thing. So 648 times three, because it's a three pack. So it's 1944. That's how much buy cost is. So uh, let's go to, uh, um, what's it called? God, I can't think of, it's not so essential. It's the, um, the tool that, that shows you how much it would cost. So the central calculator. All right, so let's grab the ASIN. ASIN, so we don't have seller amp, we're just using Keepa. ASIN is going to be at the bottom of the listing. Copy that, paste that here. So we were going to sell it for 48 at an FBA seller. The cost of it is 1944. Where's the cost of product? Oh, cost of goods. Was it 1944? 1944. And then where's shipping per unit? Dang, they make this so difficult. This stuff used to be so simple. I haven't used the FBA fee calculator in like ages. Cause I have all these other programs that do it for me. I can't find shipping in this spot. All right, I'm just gonna not put in shipping, but I'm just gonna subtract it from here. So if you bought a three pack, sold it at 48 as an FBA seller, the cost of it is 1944. You would make 1732. Let's say um, shipping is probably gonna be a dollar, so you would make 1632 from this listing. That's if you can sell it though. I haven't checked if I'm gated. I'm probably not gonna sell it because I have it on YouTube, but I want to see if I'm gated in it or not. I am OTC. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to sell this. So yeah, that is basically it. That's how you storefront stock on Keepa. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. If you learn anything or uh, yeah, if you learn anything, please like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.